Hi, this is Sean from Engadget. I'm here with Canopy having a look at it. Census. All right, so this is Census. Um, this is the new version for the iPhone 5 that we've um, kind of updated from our previous model, which was capacitive touch and designed for the iPhone 4. Um, with this latest version, we're actually adding pressure sensitivity. So you can see as I touch the back of my device, I'm actually getting, uh, it's detecting how hard I'm pressing in that particular area. It's a full multi-touch interface. So just like the front of your screen, I can now do all of my touches on the back with the addition of that pressure data. Um, we also have sensors on the edges, on the left and right, which can do some really fun stuff um, for our applications as we go. So I can actually detect how hard I am pressing or squeezing my device here. Ah, too hard. So the great thing about that is it can move a lot of kind of your gesture-driven uh, interfaces to the edges. So if I just want to take a picture, I can just squeeze ever so slightly on the top or on the bottom, wherever I need to squeeze. And it lets me take a picture. Let's turn off the flash really fast. Take a nice selfie. Hi, Engadget. For gaming, you know, a typical gaming will have a dual stick control where you're doing this and covering up the majority of your screen. So we've just actually moved this over here, my control over here to move my ship and over here to shoot. I stink at this game right now, but that's okay. It's great for game development. Here's a really great, uh, great demo. Uh, since there's pressure, we can actually detect how much something weighs on the back. So if I'm pressing here, so what I can do is I clear it out, put it on the table, and I can drop something on top, and it'll tell me how much it weighs. I don't know if I'll be able to do it here. Measure 0.14 pounds. 0 0.14 pounds. What case can do that? That's my question. <laughs> so that's census. High five. Thank you so much. Yep.